So the thing that I like the most about Australian lamb is it's got a nice balance of the lamb flavor without being like in your face gaming. What we put on the plate as chefs is only going to be as good as the product that we're given to work with. I like Australian lamb because the flavor is really good. If you source for a right supplier and you find out how the lamb's been raised, where it's been raised, tasty, it's sweet, it's got a little bit of lamb flavor without being gamey. A lot of people have that misconception, my friends included, when we go out and eat, they're like, they won't touch any lamb dish. And I've had them come here and even even less so that they will eat the lamb tartar dish because it's raw and it's lamb. I, I rise up to that challenge where I'll be like, you know what, try this. It's not going to be gamey, it's going to be tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a great way to showcase how versatile lamb is and to show people who are daring enough to order it that lamb is not as gamey as their perception leads them to believe. When I first dish on, I expected it to not sell out. But in the first week that we put it out, we kept selling out of it every day and I was just baffled in front of house staff were like, oh, the guests really love the lamb tata and I'm like, Okay, people are a lot more adventurous than I give them credit for. And uh, again, a great testament to the product. I think for home cooks, the tricky part, if you're cooking like primary cuts like lamb loin, things that you're gonna have to, to mess around with doneness. And unless you have a meat thermometer or you have a really good instinct, it's gonna be hard to get it just right. I would do maybe a slow roast, uh, lamb shoulder. So when I braise lamb, I like to brine it first. Uh, the duration of the brining obviously would depend on the size of the cut. If you're doing a lamb neck, like a whole lamb neck, I would do maybe five hours. Um, if you're doing a whole lamb leg, I would brine it for maybe overnight. It takes up space in your fridge and it's an extra step, but I think it's completely worth the time. Like the finished product will taste so much better. The simplest thing would be, be to toast off some cumin, grind it up, dice up some preserved lemon, assuming you've got some preserved lemon at home, and mix it in with some yogurt. I mean, these are all things that any home cook would have readily available at home. And it, it's just a really nice sauce to eat with, with the slow roast lamb. It's a real honor. I have a real passion for meat. When I was asked to be part of this, I was like, okay. I jumped at the opportunity and the chefs that are part of this, it's a real honor to be in their company.